And finally, we come on to budget and schedule. And this is basically you telling Facebook how much you want to spend and how quickly you want to spend it. So you can either have a daily budget or a lifetime budget. I don't really need to explain the difference between these two. I prefer daily budgets and I like to start my ads off. If I'm selling a product, for example, um, you know, if I'm selling a product on my Shopify store and I'm trying to find a winning audience, then I'll start with five pounds because I need Facebook to collect data. I don't want to spend 50 pounds and uh, in one day and then realize that I've wasted that 50 pound and perhaps the interest I'd put in are wrong or perhaps the ages or the genders are wrong. I prefer to spend five, 10, 15 pounds. I look at the data I've received and then I go from there. You can then run your advert set continuously starting today or set a start date and end date. So you can schedule ads to run in advance, which is very handy. Uh, some people say to start ads at midnight. I've never done it myself, but each to their own. If you click show advanced options, you can then optimize your advert delivery for conversions, link clicks, impressions, or daily unique reach. Daily unique reach is quite cool, but I've never used it. It just means that people aren't going to see your ad more than once a day. I always leave it at conversions. Conversion window, seven days or one day. I like to put one day. Bid amount, automatic or manual. Now, automatic is always the best way to start, in my opinion. Um, if you're new to Facebook ads, I'd go with automatic. Manual um, requires you to be at your computer, at your Mac, at your laptop, um, for quite a few hours, I'd say, until you've worked out the max the max or average bid that works good for you manually. You do get suggestions, but um, you know you do have to do a bit of testing with the correct bids here. And there is even software, third-party software that's been made um, and services that are being made um, to actually deal with Facebook manual bidding because it's you know it's quite hands-on. Whereas automatic, you can just set it and forget it. Advert scheduling, run adverts all the time, or run adverts on a schedule. Only works with lifetime budgets. So if you, I come and change my lifetime budget here, I'm gonna spend 500 pound in total, run adverts on a schedule, and I can set, you know, the best days and times. And if you've taken my Google Analytics course, you will realize um, you know, a light bulb should be flashing in your head right now when you see this and you should be thinking, okay, I'm going to test this lifetime budget. I'm going to look at my analytics data. I'm going to look at Adam's analytics course again. And I'm going to set the best times to be running Facebook ads on specific days. You can even run them on every day. Just clicking that. And if it turns blue, it's going to run within that hour. Blue is scheduled hours. Delivery type, standard, more options, or accelerated. Show your advert as quickly as possible. Now, there's a couple of people who start manual bidding, they're new to manual bidding, and they don't realize that they've also clicked accelerated. And then they ask people, um, why has Facebook spent all my budget in the first hour and got me no results? It's usually because they've accidentally selected accelerated. I don't like accelerated. I like standard. Um, and anyway, Accelerated is only available with manual max bid. And if you're new to this, you're probably going to be using automatic, as I suggested. I'm just going to move this back to all the time. And there we go. Your ad set is now ready. You have completed the title, uh, the audience in terms of location, age, gender, and language. You really went deep into the targeting by interests. You may even excluded people by interest. And you've sorted out your placements. You've made sure to avoid the pitfalls here where a lot of people waste money, instant articles, an audience network. You've decided whether you're only showing it to a specific device or not. And you've set up your budget. And there we go.